Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odulcina Scrap. Continuing this uh, embroidery series where last video, last Sunday, I've created this piece of embroideries. I've just added a bunch of French knots here to do kind of a polka dot. Look at that. I'm so in love with that. Um, somehow I left that white in the last video and when I started to think what I'm going to do with this piece, I thought I could not leave it white and I just did uh, French knots. So it is awesome. I think I'm going to do more of those French knots here and there just to kind of create a polka dot pattern. So what I want to do with that, I thought I could do a bigger kind of needle book. Look at that, this format, kind of. So if I compare to the first that I've done, which was really tiny, look at my hand. This one is still tiny. It's, let me give you the, the dimensions. It's gonna be about four by six. So these, if you watch my last video, not the embroidery videos, but the one that I created the junk journal cover using those bags. So these are bags that I've cut here. And this is this part. Of course, this one has been coffee stained before. So I had those pieces and they are just, you know, they're making the noise. They're kind of two layers even more. So they're not using like a cardstock, but they give a good structure. And I thought I could just glue my cover through that, put some, so this would look something like that inside. I could put a lace here and then I can do like I did for that little uh, needle book, add some felt in the middle. But I want to do something special because I want to be able to put my scissors here. So having a little triangle here with some plastic or something that prevents the, the scissors to go through and some sort of an easy attachment here like maybe a little elastic or something to hold the scissors, but really being able to remove them easily. Because if I attach them and do a bow every time, I won't do it every time, and then this would be useless. I have this gadgets too, from the same kit that I want to, to see how I can make them go inside this needle book. So it's gonna be like a needle, scissors, and everything book that I can carry on with me in the car when I want to do some embroideries in my car. And I would have everything inside, including the scissors, the needles, everything. I even want to have like a little pocket where I can put my leftovers threads because when I take an embroidery thread and I divide it into two pieces of three threads each. There's another term, I forgot it. Um, anyway, the other part that I'm gonna use later needs to go somewhere. So if I can add a little pocket somewhere and I just slide them in th inside the pocket and reuse them when I need more, um, that would be awesome too. So. I'm at the stage where I'm starting the project. I know where I'm going. I don't know how it's gonna end up. <laughs> so let's start with the structure of the cover first. So I've been going through my laces and I ended up finding this recycled piece of, um, I don't know what it was, it's been a long time since I had that but it's the perfect size look at that and it's already sewn on both sides so what I think I'm gonna do is fold it glue it and just attach it like that to cover the paper side and this will be it's all cotton 
I love the lines here that they've made. So I think I'm going to just do that for to, to cover the paper. And then this way, when I'm going to put my scissors here, it's going to be already fabric there instead of laces that I would poke through. So I think it's a good idea for me. Uh, now I just need to figure out where I want to kind of glue that, but I don't have that much. So I just need to verify that it looks great. Let's say if I take this and this, yeah, this would work. Okay, so let me use my glue here to just fold it on top here like that. Oh, I'm going to try to not burn myself. I could have used my sewing machine too. Maybe that would be... That would have been the best. Or just any other kind of glue. So it's just... All right, now I can cut this part here to do the other one. Cut this too. And here I'm gonna do some ends end sewing and I think I'm gonna put still a lace between so we have laces around yeah why not okay same for here I want this part and this part There's really different ways to to glue or stitch or do your projects, so you don't need to follow me on that. You can use tacky glue, art glitter glue here, fabric pack. <laughs> really, it's whatever you feel for. Okay, and I'll keep this remaining here. Or your sewing machine. I'll have both of those here here they look bigger because because there are larger on both sides here but this i'm gonna sew it inside now i'm gonna put a piece of lace before so i have that polka dot left over and it's straight but i'm gonna glue it and then cut it not straight and i thought i could add another layer maybe of a lace like that. This is a blouse that has been found in a thrift store that my neighbor found for me and brought me. So maybe I can cut this one as well and maybe I can even like add, I have this cotton lace and I can just do the sides like that from inside and then when I'm gonna stitch that that would be something like that and I would do the corners here but of course I'm gonna cut cut this lace because I love the shabby chic style so I think I'm gonna aim for that there's gonna be kind of three layers and when we're gonna look from the other side we we're gonna see the polka dot the lace and this cotton lace as well all different sizes but doing the all around here and in the middle of both i'm gonna when they'll be applied i'll put like a sari silk or chiffon silk or a lace that is cute on both sides not like this one a lace that would be similar on both sides just to do the finishing and sew the felt so let me do that and i'll come back
there you go so this will come like that but i need to need to fold it somehow so in order to move correctly or look at all those little pieces here i'm gonna keep them in a little container for a future project like doing little houses that could be useful So honestly, it should be a little bit bigger, I think, like this here. And then I'm out a little bit here. So either I don't care or I add maybe a ribbon here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the cover, placing it correctly. And if I need to make it longer, I'll just attach another piece of fabric here with a slow stitch between and another lace something so for now i'm gonna forget this part and i'll just do this one really nice should be something like this and i'm gonna make sure it looks good and at the end, I'm going to trim the polka dot and this lace better. I have to glue the side of the fabric. So I'll just glue it and cut the corners in angles like that. So it doesn't create a, a bulk of fabric. And then I'm going to be able to glue the lace on that one. I'm just gluing the lace a little bit so i don't have to fight with the lace moving and not be at the good place but i don't need to put a lot of glue because i'm gonna do slow stitching at the end that will grab everything so it's just a little bit of lace just a little bit of glue to hold everything together so i don't they don't move so I'm doing the layering and now I'm going to place the, the, the embroidery cover. And in this case, I'm, I'm using the odd glue because it's going to go through the two layers of lace, the, the polka dot tool, the lace. And I'm just putting the glue a place where I know I won't do any slow stitching because going through the hot glue is not easy with a needle, that's for sure. So see that side is kind of ready. Now, when I'm looking at the other side, I realize I'm really missing a lot of fabric. So I prefer to make it a little bit longer. Uh, of course, the fabric will, will be a little bit shorter than that because the the sides are not turned over and glued to to the bag but i'm gonna definitively add another layer and i had that lace that was a cotton lace but to hide the the little holes i'm adding that pink cotton and it just makes the perfect shade i find it's really like i love it it, it brings like the polka dots and the little touches of pink here and there. It kind of go back together. So I like it this way. Now, how can I make them hold together? That's another story. So first I'm trying to figure out if my length is okay, if everything is aligned. And um, I started to just glue with a little bit of uh, glue dots the lace to the pink fabric so they stay well together. And now to put those two together, I didn't have a lot to sew them together. So I decided to add a piece of paper. 
So it's a leftover from the paper bag. And um, I'll just glue the paper at the back of the fabric. So it's going to be kind of a structure for the fabric. And then I'm going to do some slow stitching to to complete everything. But at least I'm not at the edge of the fabric. The one with the polka dot. Because they're really at the edge. If I... Otherwise, I'm going to lose one row of the polka dot. And I really didn't want that. So see right now, I'm doing the slow stitching around the edge you know there's a scallop edge so i'm just following the scallop edge and i'm gonna do a little close up here you can see the little stitches they're done with a regular sewing thread not an embroidery thread so now i'm gonna do the other one and this one i decided to not turn the fabric like this side i'm gonna turn it but the other one with the lace I won't turn it, I'll just grab it with the slow stitching because it was somehow it seems like it was more short <laughs> to flip the the fabric so I just decided because the, the edge is already sewn I'll just do the slow stitching to attach it to all the layers of laces and the cover. So this is how I prepared all of my layers. Now this one is too short, so what can I do? I just decided to cut in the middle and leave the middle without any polka dot. There are so many layers in a way that nobody will figure out. And anyway, this journal won't be for sale. It's... Uh, it will be a gift for someone that I love and um, and that love to do lots of sewing so this one will be a little gift I'm using the uh, odd glue again here just to in the middle just so I don't have to fight with those pieces when I'm gonna do the slow stitching all around. Applying a good pressure. And look at that. This is what it will look. I just need to trim the laces around. But it, it looks good already, I find. And I love the format. It's kind of a passport format. So now I can glue the, the remaining of the lace that were not glued on those sides. It just got a little bit more complicated because I changed the size. <laughs> I just decided to make it a little bit bigger after my cover was already to a specific size. So if you do the same and you have the good size from beginning, you won't have to, to play like I did. But I, I thought you should see the process because this can happen to you and that might help you to figure out what to do to solve your issue. <laughs> That's what I love about junk journals and all those little shabby chic uh, style there's no mistake and there's no problems anywhere you can always add a layer glue together two things and you move on so I just trimmed the edges so it looks like it's it's kind of straight straight without being straight so now as you can see I did a slow stitching all around each of the sides and now I want to hide the middle so I had that cute piece of sari silk and I'm gonna do a slow stitch 
all around like you see and as you can see I'm not going through all the layers I'm just stitching the sari silk to the white fabric covering the paper bag so I'm just I'm not going deep I'm just going a little stitch uh, to to grab the first layer of the white fabric that's all it doesn't need to go through the whole thing and there's a couple of layers so that would not be easy I've cut a big piece of felt into two pieces into two so it gave me kind of four pages and I did a slow stitching in the middle with an embroidery uh, thread and that's what it looks like I am really really happy with that now I'm gonna end the video for this week but next week I want to create something special here to to put the scissors there and decorate the remaining of the of the needle book thanks for watching god bless you bye bye